Hello everyone. My name is <laughs> Well, you really don't care what my name is. And today I'm going to be reviewing Halloween. Since today is Halloween, I decided I was gonna review this movie. Mostly because A, they've been re show they've been showing it a lot on TV. B, it involves one of my favorite horror icons, and C because it's my choice, and I love this movie, so we're going to review it. So let's talk about the story of this movie. The movie involves a serial killer named Michael Myers who killed his sister at a young age. We're never given a reason why he killed her, but we know is that he was very dangerous, and his psychiatrist, Dr. Loomis, played by Donald Pleasance, sorry if I said his last name wrong, tries to convince everyone that he is dangerous and needs to be locked away for good. No one believes him, and Michael escapes to go back to his old hometown to start killing people while also looking for his younger sister who doesn't know that she had an older brother and an older sister. So, Michael Myers goes looking for his sister while killing people, and Dr. Loomis works with, a sh with the sheriff to try to find Michael Myers and stop them before it is too late. Now... One of the things I love about the story is how the formula was not being done so many times. It was done very well for this movie. And how it's not rushed. Like when Michael Myers does appear, we don't see him, you know, going right after these kids to try to kill them. He takes his time. He goes slow. And that's why I love. He hides in the shadows, does not make a sound. He does not make an evil laugh. He doesn't say anything. He's silent, he's quiet, and that's what I love in this whole story, is he's able to do that so well. And when he finally does find his sister and tries killing her, oh man, it is good. How all that is done, how he has to escape while also trying to keep the two kids safe, pretty good. Now, is there any flaws with the story? I think the only flaw I can think of is, well... I think the sequel is how it leads up to the sequel. Um, I think that's my only issue with it. The, the rest of the story I still like. Uh, but I guess the other thing I probably have the most issue is we're not really given much explanation of, well, what happened to Michael Myers' his parents? What happened? Why didn't they keep, uh, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis's character when she was a baby? Why didn't they keep her? Like, we're not doing much of an explanation there, but it's fine. I, I still like it anyways. So, what about the characters? Were the characters good? Oh, yeah. Donald Pleasant, as I said, he played a very great role as Dr. Loomis. Jamie Lee Curtis, she did a great job playing as Laurie Strode, Michael's sister. And it actually helped with Jamie's uh, career. And, of course, we have the character, the actor who played Michael Myers. He did a great job. He did not make a sound. He was just breathing heavily at times, or even just breathing normally. It was great. You know, not, him not saying anything. And that's what I love about Michael Myers is he doesn't talk. He doesn't make a maniacal, maniacal laugh or doesn't give an explanation why he kills. He just does. And that's what I love. See, unlike... Other killers from other horror movies, like from Freddy, from Jason, to Leatherface, or even the freaking Leprechaun, were never given a reason why Michael does what he does. And yes, I am not counting the sequels, okay? I'm not counting the fourth, fifth, and sixth, because apparently they had nothing to do with the other Halloween movies. It's not canon. So, no Thorn, uh curse mark on Michael's arm, on his wrist, no Lauren Strode having a daughter, no having a psychic connection between her and Michael, or an evil cult, we don't have any of that, so it doesn't count, so again, I love how we're not getting an explanation about Michael, Michael sorry, for his reason to kill, I want to keep it that way, what about the effects for this movie, at least the scare, were they good, yes, the fear was done well because you don't know when Mike was about to appear. You don't know if he's going to appear in the shadows or he's going to come out from there. Like, it, it could be anywhere. And how he kills these kids, I like it as well. It's well done. Especially how he kills one of the boys, like, stabbing him and 
against the wall and just leaving his body hanging there like, wow, that is, that is well done. I love it. And, of course, we have, you know, how the setup is. At. We're not focusing on different locations. Once we get to nighttime, we're focusing on just two houses. One on the other side, and we have one across the street. So we're just focused on those two houses, and that's very good. Because I really would hate if this was going to other places over and over again, like different locations. So, as far as the locations and the scare is concerned, they did a great job with the effects, and we, I love it as well. I love how, how the fear went. So, again, guys, I get this. I, I say this movie is worth watching, especially for Halloween. This is definitely worth watching, and I do not recommend watching the remake. Do not watch the remake. Seriously. Well, that's it, everybody. I will see you all next time, and if I decide next year to wear this, I will do it again. So see you all next time, my children. Take care. See you all next time. I'll give you more love and more entertainment. And happy Halloween. <laughs>